Hello, I'm Nick Rodriguez with the Squid Ink Service Team. and Today we're going to talk about maintaining your Copilot printhead in an egg application. So before we begin discussing what we have for how to go ahead and uh, maintain your printhead in the egg application, we want to talk about the, the fluids that you're going to have on hand or going to want to have on hand. Um, specifically two different kinds of cleaners that you're going to need. One formulated specifically for just the ink and another one for potential egg residue that may um, make contact with the printhead. So the first one we want to talk about is going to be the 4043 cleaner. Now this cleaner is made to clean off the ink and the ink only from the printhead itself. So we use this cleaner when we are uh, purging or priming the printhead, um, getting it ready to print at the beginning of the day, stuff like that. After we do a prime, we wipe it down with a lint-free wipe, and we may spray it down a little bit with this to clean off that faceplate. The other fluid that we're going to use is going to be the 4063 external egg cleaner. Now, it's important that this is used pretty much right away you notice that there's some sort of egg contamination on the printhead. It'll help spray down that egg residue off of the printhead. So what we'll do here is we'll, we'll go ahead and, and demonstrate the proper uses for both fluids and uh, show you how to go ahead and do that. Okay, so right now what we're going to do is we're going to prime up our printhead using our 4043 cleaner and our 4200 ink, which is the ink that we use in our egg applications. And you'll notice the similarities in the numbers that signifies uh, a compatibility of usage for your cleaners, right? So we're going to go ahead and take our 4200 cartridge and lock it in place. And I'm going to grab my lint-free wipe and fold it here and place that under my print head. It's like that. And we're going to go ahead and press the priming button. Now we're looking for uh, to continue priming until we don't see any more air bubbles come out of that print engine and we see a good steady flow of ink coming out. All right, wipe down what I can with my wipe. And then I'm going to take my cleaner. Make sure it's on spray here and spray down the face of it. Clean off the rest of that ink that's on the face here. And dry off what I can with the wipe. Now we're ready to print. Egg applications are like any other applications and incidences may occur. And sometimes those incidences may lead to uh, egg residue being um, exposed to the printhead. Now that can happen from machines and cartons backing up or something like that causing it. Other times it could be caused by people just wiping down the machine and using the same rag to wipe down the printhead. That can happen as well. And what you'll see, I'll show you, is that you'll get a nice film of egg residue that coats the printhead. And at times it can be difficult to tell, but this is when you notice something like this is time to take some action. When you notice that there's egg contamination on the printhead, it's imperative that you take action immediately. You want to go ahead and find your 4063 external egg cleaner and you want to liberally spray down the front of that printhead. Now, you want to make sure that you do not grab your 4043 cleaner as that's only for ink. When that mixes with the egg residue, you're going to have a much more difficult time cleaning off all that residue from the print engine itself. So the first step is to grab your external egg cleaner 4063 and spray down the faceplate. That's what we're going to do right now. So I've got my sprayer, turn my print off, and I'm going to take that and start spraying down the print head and you'll see it move in that egg gunk as it goes along and you want to just keep going until you can't see anything. And 
get in that face plate right on that engine there. Get it off of the entire stainless steel face plate if I can. Now, if I think I got most of it off, I'll take my lint free wipe and try to dry the face as much as possible. Take a look at it. And if I need more, I'll go ahead and spray more. Maybe it needs a little bit more, so we'll go ahead and do a couple of more sprays. Make sure we got it all off of there. Once I think I've got all the ag residue off with my cleaner, then I'm going to go ahead and go straight to the purge button and prime the ink out of there. That way it'll help push out anything that may be resting on top of the print engine. I'll remove my tray, get my other lint-free wipe folded, and prime the print engine. Satisfied with that, so I'll go ahead and clean that down. And there is a little bit of ink left on there, so I'll take my ink cleaner now and spray that bottom part off. But now we can go ahead and test the print quality and see if we need to do the process over again. So we've gone ahead and cleaned off our egg residue, reprimed our print head, and went and tested our print. We ended up being satisfied with it. So we can go ahead and continue our production with our print head at this point. So as a quick recap, what you want to remember is that the 4043 fluid that you'll be using is only for the ink, only for the ink. If there's any egg residue on the print head, you're going to want to make sure you use the 4063 external ink egg cleaner first. Once that's all out of the way, go ahead and prime up the print head, clean it off as you normally would, then go ahead and use your 4043 to clean the re rest of the ink off of the print engine and the print head. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, if you're looking for any other technical related videos, go ahead and find us on YouTube or elsewhere on the, on the web. I'm Nick Rodriguez and I'll see you later.